Today, I am very excited to be speaking to Representative Del Bene of Washington's first congressional district. Representative Del Bene serves on the House Ways and Means Committee and is co-chair of the Women's High Tech Caucus and Internet of Things Caucus. Representative Del Bene is also the former co-chair of the Congressional App Challenge. Welcome, Congresswoman. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me today. Absolutely. I'm excited to be here. So let's dive into the questions. My first one. The Congressional App Challenge's mission is to inspire middle and high school students to learn to code and pursue careers in STEM and computer science. So why do you think students should participate in the Congressional App Challenge? Well, the Congressional App Challenge is really a one of a kind opportunity for students to learn how to code. Um, you also get to work with friends and classmates, meet new people and really showcase your talent. Um, over the last 30 years, the number of jobs in STEAM, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math fields has jumped by nearly 80%. And so opportunities in the fields continue to multiply. So now more than ever, we really need to encourage this next generation of self-starters and entrepreneurs and innovators to explore and fall in love with computer science and STEAM because they can do great things um, that will help all of our communities. So I'm excited to see what comes, but um, we encourage folks to participate in the app challenge and get started. <laughs> and along those lines, how do you encourage students in your district to participate in the challenge? Well, we've built great relationships with our schools um, throughout our, my district and my team provides them with all the resources they need to help get the word out about the competition. We also host an annual appathon. Um, it's for students in the district um, to work with local technology leaders. So we have a two day event. It's separate from the Congressional App Challenge, but it gives students hand on computer science experience, access to mentors to help them prepare for the App Challenge. Um, sometimes they meet other people there that they might wanna work with on the App Challenge. And we host this shortly before the challenge deadline so that kids have time to, to read, uh, to refine their submissions if they want, or to find others to collaborate with. That's great. Um, so you've been hosting the App Challenge since its first year in 2015. What would you say is your favorite memory of interacting with the students who take part in the challenge? Well, I have a lot of memories. Um, <laughs> and every year the App Challenge submissions really um, are unique. They really speak to the change that participants wanna see in the world. Um, and I'm really in awe of what students can accomplish when they put their minds to it. Um, we've had folks work on identifying diseases in crops uh, to teaching third graders math to um, understand um, the health of our pollinators in agriculture. Um, many of the apps we see also reflect our students' commitment to making their communities and the world a better place. And it's really exciting to see how adaptive students are to coming up with new ideas and solutions. Um, last year's winner in our district created a social distancing camera. So it would alert you if, you if others were closer than six feet to you, something that was very timely um, and helpful. So it, there's incredible creativity. Now, as a tech leader before coming to Congress and the current co-chair of the Women's High Tech Caucus, what do you believe to be the main barriers to equity in the tech industry? And what do you think Congress should do about it? Well, I think it's important that everyone has op opportunities to be creative, to fall in love with coding, to be ex exposed to STEAM so that they know that they have a, the opportunity to pursue careers there. A top priority of mine has been making sure that we really create specific spaces for, for all students in particular young women and girls to get involved in this area and build communities that can serve as ongoing support and mentors for those that follow them. So one of the main barriers is the lack of access to these introductory experiences, kind of people understanding how to get started and the encouragement that they need. And I think the app challenge can um, help serve uh, to provide that path forward as well. Great. So we have students of all coding abilities participating in the challenge. Do you have any advice for students who are interested in the challenge? Um, first of all, don't let anything intimidate you, um, whether you're a first timer or a seasoned coder. The app challenge is really a great opportunity to learn and grow. Um, coding isn't always easy, but um, it's like anything you try, you learn and you move forward. And with perseverance and motivation, 
you can really produce something that can be impactful and it can be incredibly rewarding. So put your ideas out there, think creatively when confronting the, the challenge or the problem you're trying to solve. Think creatively um, and work with others as you try to get through glitches or things that aren't quite working as you expect and ask for help because I think we all can use somebody else's perspective. And if you do that, I think you'll be very successful. That's great advice. Uh, what is the latest piece of technology that excites you? Well, there are many things that excite me. Um, I think we have just so many things in the category of artificial intelligence and a virtual reality that have a lot of potential in the coming years. Um, these are things that aren't just about gaming. They can help in other areas like healthcare and job training. Um, in, in fact, even recently I participated in a conference what that was using a AI platform and I had my own avatar and my avatar went on stage and um, gave my speech that way and the guests and the audience were all avatars so there's all sorts of unique new things that are coming and we're going to see just um, things happen very quickly we've had so much innovation and change quickly already and I think there's a lot more to come. Do you believe that all representatives should promote the challenge in their districts? Yes, I encourage my colleagues to participate in the competition because it's an opportunity for everyone. We want to make sure that all students throughout the country have a chance to participate. It's really about the students and giving them this opportunity to get inspired and to learn. Great. And my last question for you, do you have any advice for students who want to get involved at the intersection between tech and politics? Well, um, First of all, I think it, we need more people who are engaged and involved because technology isn't just an isolated area. It's part of everything we do. It's how it's part of our daily lives. It's how we interact and buy things. Um, and so absolutely that has an impact on politics as well. First, I'd encourage everyone to take the opportunities that are available like the Congressional App Challenge to learn more and get a sense of what's happening in technology, how it works, um, how to be involved reach out to industry professionals and ask questions about their work and, um, and be engaged in what's happening in your community because that really has an impact on public policy. So even if your experiences aren't perfectly at the intersection of technology and politics right away, I think as you get engaged and involved in technology and in politics, you'll see those intersections and have a chance to make a difference. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me today. For our students and our viewers, remember the 2021 Congressional App Challenge is live so students can register and submit their apps between now and November 1st. Thank you. Thank you.